I was the CEO of Home Health and Hospice Care, I always came to this because you have to support the nonprofit community. And we know that this does support the great event, great work that Plus Company does. And it, it makes it worth attending this agonizing event. Oh, it is agonizing. And so when I envisioned my retirement, one bright spot I recognized was that I would never have to come again. And here it's Charlie Bass. <laughs> Kill it up here every, every year. Um, but now here I am, I'm back. Not only having to attend, but having to speak. You know, so I've been seriously considering burning a return to hospice as a patient. <laughs> it certainly couldn't be any worse than hanging out with this crowd up here. But seriously, I was really honored when uh, Marsha called to invite me to speak. Uh, I want to thank um, Bernie Streeter for his continued support of the Plus Company and the great work that the Plus Company does for 40 years. They've really made an enormous difference in the lives of adults with disabilities. You know, their mission has been to support the training um, and allow adults who otherwise would not be able to do so to lead independent and successful lives. And I do take my shots at Bernie Streeter, and I have over the years. And that's because he's such a good friend and because he's done so many great things for New Hampshire. He really has been a dedicated public servant, making a difference in the lives of the people here in Nashua and the lives of the people of our great state. I think Bernie has been a public servant and a role model for all of us to emulate. So Bernie, I mean that sincerely. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you all for being here this morning and your support of the Plus Company. Thank you. But today they've asked me to actually be up here to kind of speak again and bring invocation. You know, if you were here last year, I told you what St. Patrick's Day was all about. St. Patrick's Day in the United States of America was started for one reason only. It was the Irish people. They were, again, very much discriminated against just down the road in Boston and New York City. On the front of stores, it would say the Irish need not apply. They were considered dumb. They were considered ignorant. And they were, again, because of their accents and because of their last names, again, their dignity was lost. And they pulled themselves up as a community, a community of people who felt strong about themselves. They began to serve the community of people that discriminated against them. But today, we've come for other people who hold their head up high. Again, a community sometimes who may look at them and find them in some unique way not to be worthy of what they're offered to do. But because of this great witness of a young man to my left today with bright tears in my eyes, today you gathered here today for this plus breakfast to bring dignity to a people who deserve it again.